Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Coinaholics Autonomous. Today's coin is the 1984 Denver Double Die Obverse United States One Cent. Okay. The 1984 Denver, United States, one cent. It came with a plain edge. It had a weight of 2.5 grams. It was made in Denver. And its metal makeup was copper plated zinc. Its designer's name. It had two, Victor David Brenner and Frank Gasparo. It had a diameter of 19 millimeters as well. And as you can see, it had a chunky mintage, 5,569,238. Sorry, I'm a dildo. Five billion, five hundred and sixty-nine million, two hundred and thirty-eight thousand, nine hundred and six coins. Which is quite a bit for, well, one mint. And this is actually rather surprising, but not really. The greatest sale of this coin because it's really not that old yet 47 bucks but there is a catch it was only a mint state 60 and this was in 2009 so as well presently there are four coins that have been graded at a 65 plus. There are three coins. Yeah, they're not saying what the 65 plus is worth. Because nothing is sold. There are five coins at a min state 66. There are six coins at a min state 66 plus. And the highest grade for the 1984 D, one cent. There were 10 graded at a mint state 67. And none of them, there are no, nothing has sold. That's kind of strange. And also what's strange is that there's only 10 in the highest grade is mint state 6. Well, there it goes. Mint state 67. I'm actually still in shock about that. Min State 67 is the highest. Wow. Anyways, today, let us go to the reverse of the coin first. Okay. Along the top, it said United States of America. Underneath that, it says E Pluribus Unum. Along the bottom, it says One Cent. And in the middle is the Lincoln Memorial. Now, as you can see, this is a high-end coin, completely mint state red. You know, well, it should be, it's only 39 years old. Um, but as you can see, I mean, it's in really, really high-end shape. It truly is. Um, I'm pretty sure this should get to 67 if not exceed it truly but um, I had a good look uh, and yeah there's no dings on this coin I just took it out of the uh, uncirculated set so anyways let us now go to well the obverse of the coin. Okay. 
Along the top, it says, In God We Trust. Along the left-hand side, it says, Liberty. Like, along the right-hand side, it says, 1984. And underneath that is the D for Denver Mint Mark. Okay. This actually kind of reminds me of the texture in the background of the uh, Cheerio scent that came out years ago. Now, uh, there was something special about this coin, and it turns out there are two things special about this coin. First and foremost, as you can see, there is doubling in the date. Now, I'm not going to take the time to show every part on the coin that's doubled, but it's in, uh, in God We Trust. It's in Liberty and it's in 1984. As you can see, it's quite clear. Yeah. And for the 1984D, there are double die obverses that have been recorded. Now, if we go down to the D, you can see, well, there's something going on inside there. Uh, to me, uh, uh, this part of the coin looks very unusual. It really does. But it looks like a... <laughs> I don't even know what the hell that would be. But there's definitely something going on inside there. That is not normal. So, so it looks to me like a repunched mint mark, but... Uh, yeah, going to need some serious magnification for that. You know what I'm saying? Well, basically, that is it for the 1984 D United States one cent. But on another note, in the 1984 uncirculated set for Philadelphia and Denver, they came with bonus coins. Now, they're not monetary. They're more, well, more of a commemorative type thing. And as you can see, it's, uh, well, it's definitely interesting. Now, my apologies for the lighting on this. But across the top, it says Treasury. And along the bottom, it says United States Mint. With the shield, the scales of justice, and the key. Now, if we, well, flip this thing over. Okay, now, well, as you can say, or see, uh, it says uncirculated along the top. It says Denver along the bottom. And a big D, well, standing for, obviously, the Denver Mint. Um, now this coin, um, it is, well, the way you see it is the way it came out of the uncirculated set. The, it, kind of grainy looking, you know, um, but brand new, um, basically unscathed. So, yeah. Uh, keep in mind this is the exact same size and weight as the penny or the one pardon me the one cent coin um one of these came for the denver set and uh, in the uh, philadelphia set there's also a p1 in the philadelphia set in the 1984 uncirculated set you know i can't see myself sending this in anytime soon because well, it's still pretty darn new, you know, 1984. I mean, it's only, what, uh, 39 years old? So, but I'll definitely, you know, it's... My goal before I die is to get all my stuff, you know, graded as it needs to be and so forth and in order and, you know, then, well basically for my kids you know anyways 
That is all I have to say about the 1984D United States one cent and its third cousin twice removed, the 1984 uncirculated Denver commemorative coin. If you haven't yet, I would appreciate you both liking and subscribing and don't forget to comment. As well, next time's coin will be the 1772 <laughs> got it right this time french french revolution one laird coin and as i say in all my videos be safe be smart and enjoy your coin search goodbye What? <laughs>